Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to make a DC motor out of a few items here. Uh, you're going to need some uh, earth or natural magnets. You're going to need uh, some magnetic wire. And uh, this is, uh, by the way, 26 gauge magnetic wire. You may find this at, let's say, a local electronic store like a Radio Shack that sell parts or you may go online to Amazon or whatever uh, or similar in order to find the magnetic wire. Uh, we're also going to be using a couple pieces of uh, wires here. Uh, for me I have two pieces of wires with like, alligator clips on the end. You do not need that as long as you can find some wire that can make a good connection. Uh, you may use that and also we're going to be using some tape which we're going to uh, uh, stick our a couple of paper clips onto a piece of cardboard as uh, shown here all right so let's go ahead and start making our dc motor and so we're going to clear our space here out just a little bit all right so as i indicated to you uh, so far, I've already uh, taped down a couple pieces of paper clips or two paper clips onto a cardboard here. Uh, the way that I got the paper clips in this uh, shape here is uh, so let's take this uh, paper clip here, for instance. If you pull the middle piece or that smaller piece on the inside there upwards and just bend it back this way, all right, and then you may take uh, either your fingers or you or your hands uh, or you may use a uh, needle nose pliers to just bend the uh, top piece back here so that you end up with a nice little uh, loop okay and so that's how I got it into that shape and as I said I stuck those down to or I take those down to the cardboard here such that there's a little piece of uh, the paper clip hanging out on on the ends okay all right now uh also you saw that i had the magnetic wire already wrapped into a circle here and by the way it comes in a nice big old spool but i wrapped it in a circle using a uh, dry erase marker what i did was i just took the magnetic wire off the spool and just wrapped it around a dry erase marker uh, i'd say probably about 10 to 12 times is good uh, when you're finished, make sure that you have a little bit of uh, wire at the end here, okay? All right, so what you're going to do with the wire that you pulled off of the dry erase marker after wrapping it is you're going to take the ends and you're going to stick them in the middle here. What you're trying to do is create sort of, I guess you can say like handles to stabilize the magnetic wire portion of the motor onto uh, the rest of the motor okay or in this case it's going to be put into the paper clip so you're just going to wrap it around the edge here let's do that one more time all right so now you have this end completed and you need to do the same thing to the other end you want to wrap it around and you want to wrap it around so that it's sort of symmetrical or clo as close to sim uh, symmetrical as possible. So you want it to be uh, on the other side of the uh, loop when you start to wrap it around and you can adjust it as you go along. All right, let's uh, tighten this just a little bit more and wrap it around one more time. All right. After you've done that now, okay, what you want to do is you want to take a small piece of sandpaper, okay, small piece of sandpaper, and remove on the outside of the magnetic wire is a uh, coating. You want to remove that coating with the sandpaper, so you're just going to, going to uh, sand that edge off. Try to get off as much of it as possible. Now, my magnetic wire was coated in a green uh, insulation. So once that green insulation comes off, you'll be able to see the copper colored wire underneath. And again, get as much of that off as possible. All right. Uh, 
uh, keep sanding here. All right. And this seems to be a little bit long, so I'm just going to cut it just a little bit here at the edge. All right. You're going to go over to the other end. And again, try to maintain some symmetry here. You're going to go over to the other end. And you're going to sand that end also. Again, get as much of that coating off. You want it to look copper colored, okay? Okay, I think I got enough off at this point. Let's just make this look as symmetric as possible. All right. Now that we've gotten both of those pieces together, let's go ahead and tape a piece of uh, one of the magnets down to the cardboard. And this is just to keep it uh, stable here in the middle. Okay. Now that that's in there, we're going to go ahead now and insert the the ends of the loop here, the magnetic wire loop, into the holes of the uh, paper clip. All right. And again, you're going to need to just stabilize this a little bit and make it symmetric. symmetric as possible all right then we're going to take a paper clip here clip at the ends on the you're going to clip the wires that you have onto the paper clip all right and then the final piece here we're going to need a battery and for this I'm going to use a a double a battery and now you're gonna you are possibly gonna need more than uh, one piece of um, of magnet here so I'm starting with one but we're going to poss possibly add more and you're gonna connect the wires here on the ends of the you're gonna connect the wires here on the ends of the battery and let's see Okay, we have no movement, so let's go ahead and add a little bit more, uh, a few more pieces of magnets in here. And I'm going to add two pieces. Oh. This is always a little bit tricky now. Okay, there we go. And you might need to give the, the loop there a little bit of a turn, okay? Okay, we do have a little bit of movement here. And there we go. You can see that it starts to turn just a little bit. All right, probably need to put another piece of magnet on the here. Okay. Okay, that one's a little bit too high. Let's take that one piece off. Let's try this again. Connect the wires here to the end. We might have to balance this just a little bit more. There we go. It's turning just a little bit. There you go. 
and there goes our DC motor okay it's all turning by itself now alright so what exactly makes this work let's talk about the principles or the let's talk about the physics and science behind of this well first of all we have our earth magnet let me move that battery out of the way we have our earth magnet here at the bottom and as you know the earth magnet has both the north pole and the south pole let's just assume that the north pole for this one is pointing at is at the top and the south pole is at the bottom here and we put that onto the cardboard there we had two pieces of or two separate uh, paper clips okay and remember now those two paper clips are holding that magnetic wire and that magnetic wire is in a loop form and it's going around this way and then at the end it comes out through here so if we have the positive terminal of the battery over on this end connected to this paper clip and the negative terminal of the battery connected onto this paper clip all right what that's going to cause it's going to cause a current that's heading through the wire in these direction as the arrows show okay so that's our current we're going to use the letter i to represent the current all right with the the magnet here we also have a magnetic field that's going around the magnet going from the north pole down to the south pole okay so the magnetic field is pointing upward and then coming around and then back to the south pole all right and so when that occurs that we have current going that way and we have the magnetic field going this way we're going to have a magnetic force that's going in towards the paper here that causes now a torque within the loop here which causes it to move okay so the combination of that magnetic field or more specifically the current passing through the magnetic field here causes a force a magnetic force going into the paper which causes a torque within that loop and causes the loop to turn in a circle all right so that's how the dc motor here that's how the dc motor uh is working all right so again uh you need a couple pieces of magnets uh, natural earth magnets you need battery couple pieces of wire paper clip magnetic wire and you may find the magnetic wire at a radio shack or you may find it online at Amazon or a store that sell electronic parts and also you're going to need a little bit of uh, tape in order to keep the uh, magnet in place and to keep the paper clips in place all right so that's the that's this video on uh, making a DC magnet uh, DC uh, motor this is a good project for let's say kids with uh, adult supervision of course um, also one other thing I want to point out before we uh, end this session here is that if you're wearing a pacemaker you do want to stay away from the magnets because they are uh, they could be a little bit strong okay so again this is a DC magnet perfect uh, project for a rainy day for kids or possibly in a physics class uh, please do check my uh, YouTube channel out for additional projects that you may try uh, or you can check out my website for additional information and my website is clydeletsum.com that's www.clydeletsum.com